Hello YouTube, Zeite here and welcome to a new deck profile video. This time uh, I want to show you my purple Luffy deck profile. Um, this leader comes to uh, uh, in OP5, uh, as you all know. And I want to show you what I played in the last couple of matches on the Zim. And um, I'm happy with it. Um, but... You can change some uh, cards if you want, but uh, I think it's um, it's good, um, and I want to show you that. So, um, for all you don't know what the leader does, the leader does active main once per turn. You may take the top card from your life cards to your hand if the amount of don on your field is um, zero or three or more. Add up to one don card from your don deck and. Uh, as active so um it's um a little bit like red purple loof red purple loof is if you have zero don or eight or more you can add one don card from your don deck as active um but you don't uh, this effect uh, uh, you can use it every turn um as um you have eight dons and you don't need to pick a life in this situation here with this leader you need to get a life so this playstyle is a bit different like others because normally is uh, the opponent attacks and um, if, uh, if you have uh, your full life you um, most of the time you add one or two lives um, you know and um, <clears throat> in with this leader you don't want to get too much life from your opponent's attacks because you want to get uh, use the effect as much as possible so um, in every game you use this effect like two times most of the time um, i had in my i played like uh, 20 games and like four games in four games maybe i use the effect three times um but only uh, because I could finish later. Um, for example, if um, I used Kaido or I used the kit effect and to make a bigger combo um, with stunts on your uh, characters or leader, um, I could finish. So I used um, the ability in my uh, last turns uh, with the last life I had to finish uh, the opponent off. But that was like in 20 games four times. Um, yeah, most of the time you use the effect two times, and that's enough to ramp. That uh, in Red Purple Luffy you have more ramp cards. He, uh, here in this deck you have zero ramp cards. So, um, yeah, but I want to show you now uh, what cards I picked. You can see it already, but um, I want to explain why. So, begin with the 2k counters. Yeah, we have 12 2k counters, and that's Khalifa. Um, can be good in early game to. Um, because she has the uh, queen effect, but um, in my 20 games I never used the effect, so um, yeah, but it can be okay if you don't have other uh, cards to play. Don minus one, draw two, trash one. Um, then we have uh, da -da -da, the ulti. Uh, as you know, ulti for the ulti uh, page one package. Um, you play her for four, Don minus one, and you can play a page one. Um, from your uh, hand. I had in my test games the uh, OP1 uh, page one. Um, his effect is he's for, uh, four cost 5k, has one counter, and um, Don minus one, and he can attack actives. I had it uh, two times in this deck earlier. But um, in my test games, I wasn't a fan, a big fan of it, and had z like zero use for it. And as we know, Whitebeard is coming back, so the page one uh, vanilla is really good against him. So yeah, that's why uh, I played four page one now. Um, then we have the new, new Fran Nuske, two uh, K counter. Uh, attach one Don. If you have eight or more Don on your uh, cards on your field, this character gains Rush. Can be good if you have nothing uh, else to play. He's a 5k for five do uh, for six Don. Uh, 
I never used him in my 20 games, so. But maybe it can be fine, but most of the time it's a 2k counter. So, I think it's fine. Um, now we come to the Vanillas. Um, I play 4 Scratch Minapoo, 4 cost 6k Vanilla. Um, like page 1, but page 1 has, has the ulti combo. Um, then I play Urashima two times. 7 cost, 9k. Um... I played him f four or five times in my 20 games, and he was really strong. No joke, he was really... He was worth to play, because I... Um, um, for example, I had a, a seven cost kit on the field already, and after the turn I had nothing else to play, so I played Urashima. I had no Kaido, I had no blocker to, uh, or uh, Pauli or, or something to play, so I played him. Um, and he's a freaking 9k buddy for 7k, uh, uh, for 7 Don, and um, I really like it. The opponent needs to KO him, but um, he needs to invest many of his um, dons for it so um, against crocodile they um, immediately uh, used red rock um, it can be really good if the opponent has uh, big buddies you can uh, kill them with, uh, with them really strong i like it and i would recommend it uh, that you guys should uh, play him too at least two times um, yeah that's the vanilla uh, then we come to the blocker. I play two Utas. Um, really strong in early game. And I play uh, two Turfaga Laws. Some of you may ask why not more. Uh, that's because the opponent don't have seven cards or more in hand very much. If you don't have this law in early game, um, you can't uh, uh, use the effect. So... Uh, that's why I split to two Utas, to uh, Law, Law for the early game, Uta for the later game. Um, yeah, and both have 1k counter, so it's really good. So, I would uh, play this package, but if you like Law more or Uta more, I can understand. I'm a huge, huge Uta simp, but I uh, choose to at least, uh, to just play two. Yeah, it, it's fine. Um, then we have Queen, or uh, Classic. Uh, on play, Don minus one, draw two, trash one, and he's a 6k uh, um, blocker, really strong, and has a 1k counter. Then we have the new kit. Here. Uh, it's a blocker, your turn once per turn when a Don card from your field is returned to your Don deck, at one Don card, uh, at one Don from your Don deck as active. Really OP. I play him four times, he's a must. He's so strong with combos like this. You can. Um, Use uh, make a queen kit combo really strong. Or if you um, have kit already on the board and uh, you use Paul, you get two dons back in active. Or if you uh, use Kaido with my don minus five, you can uh, you get one don back. So you are at um, two dons, uh, two don active uh, in this turn. You can attach one or you can save it for a blast breath. Really strong. I really recommend it. Uh, it's a really good combo. Even with the seven cost kit, Don minus one, and you get one Don back. So you have four Dons in active. You can uh, play a blocker or ulti combo uh, with it. Really good. I this he's a must, and he I think he gets really expensive. Um, yeah. Then we have um, your <coughs> text here uh, for Magellan on play. You and your opponent um, needs to uh, put one Don from your Don field uh, to your Don deck back. And uh, in combo with Kit, you get the Don back in active. And on your opponent's turn, uh, <coughs> if Magellan gets KO'd, your opponent uh, must uh, put two Dons from his Don field to this Don deck. Can be really destroying his curve. Then I have uh, two Paulies in it. Um, some decks have four, but um, I think uh, two is enough. Um, on play, um, rest two Don. Add one Don card from your Don deck uh, as active. Then if you have eight or more Don in play, 
Okay, up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of four or less. So you need at least seven Don to play him. Even if he costs five, you need seven Don for uh, to use this effect. So, um, and in your seven Don curve, you want to play Kit or Urashima. That's your uh, that's your um, proposal with this deck. So, um, yeah, he can be good to. KO up to um, on opponent's vanillas, or if you have a mirror match to KO his blockers or, th uh, or something. Um, but yeah, I think two is enough. So he don't have counter. Um, yeah. And I don't have many cards with no counter uh, in this deck. I have two, six, ten, fourteen cards. Forty cards. And that's an absolute maximum. I wouldn't play more you, maybe you want to play 3-3 with Magellan and Pauli but that's your opinion um, yeah then we have the big body Kaido he's a must um, rush don minus five you can uh, KO uh, six cost units or less really good and um, yeah I wouldn't cut any Kaido so four is really a must he's your key card um, then I play two events as one off gom gom jet uh, gatling um, trash one card from your hand and uh, your leader or character gets a 3k push and on trigger you can uh, add one done card from your uh, done deck um, and set it as active and we have one time blast breath w uh, why as only one um, because I have really I have many counters in this, in this deck and uh, many blocker I have four uh, eight a 12 blocker and um, I don't really need much events but um, sometimes it's worth to have it because um, if you brick and you have like two or three Kaidos in hand and you need to uh, to counter you can uh, drop one f uh, to use Gatling can be really strong and um, sometimes you have a Don uh, open because of some combos with kids uh, or something so you uh, can use blast breath but i wouldn't uh, add more in because um, it's most of the time uh, uses in your hand so yeah as you can see we have many on play effects and uh, many counter um and so yeah let me know what you think about my deck i'm happy with it i'm gonna test it in uh, upcoming locals in the future if i have all cards and uh, yeah see you in the next videos bye bye